Hello everyone. Welcome back to All India Medical Counseling Services. In today's video, we are diving deep into the Karnataka State Council for NEET PG and we will cover everything you need to know. That is the marks required, the last year cutoff scores, the fees structure and the different quotas available. So whether you are aiming for a government, private or deemed university seat, we have got you covered. We will also touch on options for NRI students and how to navigate the process with low scores. So let's get started and let's talk about the Karnataka state counseling process. So Karnataka is a popular choice due to its open state policy, which means it welcomes students from all over India. The state boasts a plethora of private medical colleges and deemed universities and making it a hotspot for need PG aspirants. So for those targeting admissions using 2023 round two cutoff marks as a benchmark is a safe strategy, I would say. While round three cutoffs can drop drastically due to availability of a few remaining seats, aiming for the round two cutoff provides a more stable target. It basically means that if you will target for round two cutoff, then I can say that you would be in a safe zone. So I'm here paste a snapshot of 2023 round two cutoff ranks for various branches in open quota for private colleges with 12.6 lakhs tuition fees. So for radiology, you can see that the cutoff rank in round two in last year was 18,351. For dermatology, it was nearby 12,000 that is 11,569 for general medicine it was 17,809 and similar for others and uh, I would say that these ranks ensure you a safer admission plan and compared to relying on the unpredictable round three cutoff target score for various branches to secure a seat in Karnataka private state medical colleges with 12.6 lakh fees here are the recommendation i would say based on the last year cutoffs so for radiology the required marks for last year was 500 to 505 in case of derma it was 500 to 510 to 515 and it is very much high because due to limited seats and Dermatology is not available in all the colleges in Karnataka. So that's why the rank the marks is high and uh, in case of general medicine, it is 500 to 505. But I would like to tell you that the general medicine branch is widely available in Karnataka. Next is Ops. So for Ops, I can say 485 to 490. For emergency medicine, it's 385. And uh, for psychiatry, it is 432-435, but uh, it can extend up to more in round three. So we can assume that it will be increased, but uh, targeting a safer score is advisable from my end. And you can see on the screen for different branches, there are different required marks. So you can either take a screenshot and if you require this thing, then you can join our telegram group. I will share these details over there. Now let's have a look at the general merit quota. So for candidates who completed their MBBS in Karnataka or are domiciled in Karnataka, the general merit quota offers a significant fees reduction with an annual tuition fee of 7.1 lakhs. This saves approximately 5.5 lakhs per year in comparison to open quota. So however, the competition is stiffer requiring higher scores. As you can see for radiology, it is 560 to 565. For dermatology, triple five to five sixty. For general medicine, it's five thirty to five fifteen to five twenty. And the rest are on the screen. 
but uh, i want to add one point that colleges just just as kims vedehi and jjm known for their quality education and fill up quickly within top 3000 to 4000 ranks after the government college seats are filled so this is one information and now let's move to gmp that is general merit private quota so this quota is available to karnataka state domiciles who have completed at least 10 years of education in karnataka this quota offers some relief in terms of rank flexibility as you can see so for general medicine the cut off rank was 17809 and for radiology it is 18351 for derma 11569 so even if you are targeting open quota seats being eligible for gmp can be advantageous you if your score fails slightly then there is no need to worry you can still have two chances and uh, tuition fees comparisons and minority colleges compared to other states like uttar pradesh that is 20 lakhs per year and pondicherry 22 lakhs per year so karnataka offers relatively affordable tuition fees for private medical colleges certain colleges cater to minority communities such as christian minority uh, we can name the college as father muller saint john's medical college for muslim minority there are multiple colleges so it's crucial to evaluate the quality of education and hands on experience each college provides as they can vary significantly also the next consideration we can say is the consideration of a stipend so stipend in karnataka private medical college are generally low just say ranging from 10000 to 20000 per month even in colleges with high tuition fees like ramayya and sdm so but a recent supreme court order directed the nmc to publish a stipend details publicly which may encourage private colleges to offer better stipends moving forward so let's hope for the best and i th- i have covered the valuable content in this video i hope you like the content and if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe and please like like our video to support us and if you require any further assistance or you require paid counseling services we offer them so feel free to contact us on the numbers given on the screen also i would add the numbers in the description you can take it from there as well thanks for watching this video please subscribe this channel and like this thanks for watching